All right. Here we are. At the finale. Am I ready to be disappointed? Something's going to happen. I'm to I'm always ready to be disappointed, Gray. Always. All right, let's let's un unmute the game though. All right. I'm totally ready to be disappointed. Um, we have a couple things that we were going to do this time. We were going to go to the Zog Fought Pick Homeworld, because we hadn't done that yet. We were going to visit the Ors Playground and talk to the Unga about the talking pet. So I think first, I'm going to go to the Zog Fought Pick Homeworld. Yeah, that seems like a good thing to do, right? Yes, quote unquote, playground, where I'm sure I will probably die. I'm sure nothing good can come of going to the playground. Alright, um... Talk about pit homeward is 400 by 543. 400 by 543. Uh, this one's the closest. Okay, there is a close one. Oh god, I can't read the things. Ah, quasi-space map. Plez. The quasi-space map is not this. It's fighting me right now. I don't like it. There we go. All right. Popping pepper? Is it smiley time? Hmm. I don't... I don't like what you're doing right now. It makes me uneasy. Alright, the F portal. That portal. Alright. Uh, no, Whatever. I'll stop when I get to hyperspace. Hopping peppers? What does hopping peppers mean? Many bubbles? I'm so confused. Thank you so much for the bits, though, Gray. I'm gonna buy some super cheap candy at 1 a.m. with that. <clears throat> Gray, are you gonna stick around, uh... for Canarian to watch me get super spooked and cry like a little girl? Because that's what's happening after we finish this. Uh, Alright. <laughs> I got nothing better to do, so why not? That's the spirit. <clears throat> that's what I like to hear from my... From my viewers. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything better to do, so... I guess I'll be here. Ah, oh, the Is that where I'm headed? That seems... Seems right. Yeah, right on. <laughs> Is the game quiet? The game seems quiet. There we go. That's what we like. We gotta hear that hyperspace music. So how are you doing tonight, Gray? Are you playing D and D? Is it D and D night? I see a a badman. No, don't quit. Save. Madman. All right. Um. <clears throat> Cancel due to Halloween. All right. So you're just here with me now. I see the badman. Oh my God! There's so many. Oh uh, no! 
These are like the only ships that are actually scary to me now. I don't like it. I, I didn't need to go here. Oh my god, it's so rich. Like, I want... Nasty-ass storm in your area? Damn. Uh, it was really windy here for a while. It actually snowed here for like 10 minutes. But then it stopped. I don't know why I'm picking up these resources. I don't need them at this point. But I'm doing it anyway. Because I'm a hoarder. I absolutely don't need these. Is it like, is it storming super bad where you are right now? Or is it like on the way? Are, are you safe, my su sweet gray baby? No! Oh. No, gray, don't die. You're, you're the only person who likes watching me. Without you, my viewer base drops by like... 30% at least. You are a threat. You can't die. Threats deserve greater attention than filth. I'm a threat, you hear that? I'm not just filth. <clears throat> it is not. I think it is. Oh damn it, I don't remember how to Oh my god. faster than he is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 not filth. I'm I'm an actual threat now. I'm moving up in the world. Need a st God, strafing him does not matter. He's got perfect aim. He's a marksman. Jeez. Ships destroyed. There's uh, so so many after me though. I'm gonna be fighting for a while. I think. I only have 3,400 RU. I'm I'm practically broke. Gray. I'm poor. All right. I, I assume it's gonna be World One, but I I obviously have to check them all out. You know how that is. I'm a threat. What do you think of that? Yeah, them apples. Holy shit! Look at all this. I don't know why I'm still going to all these planets, but I am. Oh, look at all the... Oh! Oh! Look at all the stuff! They, they ain't got nothing on me. My lander just gives zero shits about anything anymore. I don't think I've seen these blobs before. Uh, we are the Urquan Kora. We cleanse our destiny. You are filth. You will be cleansed. Make whatever preparations are ne necessary for your species for annihilation. Uncool, dude. Uncool. Like, super uncool. I don't need anything that's here. I don't know why I'm even dispatching to these worlds. <laughs> At least I'm faster than pretty much all... Oh shit, they caught me. At least I'm faster than pretty much all other ships. I can just avoid conflict almost always. Oh, the saw blades! There's a planet for me to run into and kill myself on this battlefield, though. That's, that's good, I guess. Why are you so accurate with your saw blades? Stop it. They're such good shots. Holy shit. Taking a lot of hits. It's not good. <laughs> Making money. Death equals money. Remember that, Gray. always money to be made off death. 
That's the way the world works. And the galaxy, apparently. Ugh! What do we got here? I actually, I loaded up the 2019 version just to, like, look at it. Um. Oh, hello. Um. I don't know, I, I may play it on stream, I don't know. Just look at those weapon pods on his ship. We hope that during this visit, we can make clear to your species the benefits of a mutual assistance package. All right. Also armed to the teeth. So don't try Are to you? steal in our atmosphere or anything sneaky like that. Is that a common occurrence, just stealing atmospheres? Um, I have traveled here to seek an alliance. How wonderful! We accept. Hell yeah! Hooray! How marvelous! Yeehaw! Captain, we are delighted that your people have made this choice. Now I am also delighted. In exchange for our cooperation helping you with captains and ship design, all that we ask for is your protection. So we don't get slaughtered. We shall begin fulfilling our commitment at once. We will transport officers and our stinger design to your base in Stinger design? Why, heck! Maybe I'll even make the trip to your planet. Oh. Make a good starship, Captain. Are the stingers any good? I'm pretty darn mean in a fight, and there ain't nobody better than me with a thrusting stinger tongue attack. <laughs> It's got that thrusting stinger tongue attack. Ain't nobody better. It's got that on lock. Waffles, hey, how's it going? Stingers be poopy. All right, all right. Yeah, what's happening around here, guys? Welcome, waffles. Welcome. Before it got to our world, some of the green ships warped in, destroyed the black vessel, and then left immediately. We okay. got lucky. All our right. Our have witnessed an exciting event in the Horologi star system. Yeah, big news. Horologi? Two alien races have entered that region of space from the forward direction. One of the races look like big talking weeds, and the other wears a funny mask. And they are attacking our enemies. Well, one of our enemies anyway. Yes, the new aliens seem to be confining their hostility to the sinister Korra. Actually, that's good news. By focusing on the Korra, who have been winning their war up to this point, they've been that's mastering the Urquan. one of the species we met that, like, we got to start fighting, right? Probably win. But we estimate that the efforts of these new alien races has delayed the Korra's eventual victory by 9 to 12 months. Okay, yeah, that's what we did last time. All right. Nice, nice. Specific information. What do you want to know? Tell me things. Does someone in the back never speak? <laughs> the wig and the soup box that you had them attack. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did last time. That's what I thought. Um... Right. Um. <laughs> does the guy in the back ever say anything? Nope. Is this like a. Like the three monkeys, like the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil? That type of thing? And the one in the back is speak no evil, so he never talks? Is that what this is? Describe the stinger. <laughs> Gray. Yeah, sure. Whatever. If you want to think that, sure. We can be quite effective in short range combat. They turn on a, on a, well, a small round thing that's real small. Like a dime. Against most ships, the stinger must close distance immediately. Like a dime. Unrelenting tongue attacks until either the enemy or the stinger are. Unrelenting tongue attacks from the stinger. That's what we're at her. The tonguing is the best part. Dude. Truths. The Zogfot Pit are speaking truths right now. The tonguing is the best part. <laughs> uh, Not much yeah, tell, tell me things. Truth. This space exploration stuff is uh, kind of new to us. Besides the green alien ships, which have only tried to kill us, and the black alien ships, which have actually been quite I love the one in the back and just his one eye just the only other starships we have encountered are strange tumbling red probes which profess to be on a 
<laughs> just looking back and forth. We believe that the probes are actually robotic scouts, which have suffered some kind of malfunction resulting in their aberrant behavior. Yeah, I took care of that. And what's worse, they are multiplying. Yes, that's true. The probes seem to be replicating at a geometric rate. <laughs> Tonguing does a lot of damage, you get, but you gotta be damn close. I mean, that makes sense, you know, seeing as it's tonguing. Waffles, are you still here? Waffles, what's going on, man? How are you tonight? Waffles, did you leave me? Did you leave me alone with Gray so we could, you know, do dirty, dirty things to each other? <laughs> You're good, but but it's Halloween. What do you mean, but it's Halloween? Is it, is it being Halloween a problem? Ah, cultural exchange. A good idea. Yeah. Gray can do a lot of damage with his tongue. Wink. Eating candies with your sister? Awesome, awesome. It's always a good time. Uh, w will you be doing like a uh, like a two a.m. candy run when everything goes like eighty percent off? Because you should. Ah. Would you shut up about Frungy? If you say another word about that stupid game, I'm going to lose Don't hear about fucking Frungy. Yeah. Okay, okay. Don't blow your sack. I won't Gray, I did exactly the same thing. I had to read it twice. I was like, <laughs> Waffles, why are you eating candles? Why would you do that when candies are way better? Yeah, I thought he said candles too. Frungy, Frungy, Frungy! Um, but no, are you gonna like, are you gonna do the thing and like do the day after Halloween like candy sales and go get you know that that fucking twenty pound bag of peanut M and M's for like two dollars? Should do that. Our Quite a broad topic for this short conversation. This is very broad. After we killed off the last the Branky, we faced an interesting question. Should we proceed and establish a culture which would advance in art, technology, and social sophistication? Or should we just go back into the forest and kick back and enjoy <laughs> ourselves, knowing that as a blanket wasn't going to jump out of the bush and eat us? You should absolutely well, do that. Go chill in the forest. We back into the forest. <laughs> we stayed there for about 5,000 years and had a great time. <laughs> then, one stormy day, a sock, a fox, and a pet were walking up a steep path looking for something good to eat when a bolt of lightning struck nearby. With a huge flash of light, the bolt of energy carved a strangely shaped chunk of granite out of a cliff. It was a chip with a hole in the middle. As the rock began to roll down the hill toward the three terrified beings, some dry grass got caught in its hole. And since the rock was still hot, the grass caught on fire. When the rock finally got to the dock, the fox and the pet, they simultaneously discovered the wheel, fire, and religion, thus catapulting them on the road of progress. <laughs> to this day, Captain. Oh, how did the flaming wheel give religion to our culture, you ask? I will explain. <laughs> See, when it got to the threesome, the <laughs> I don't know why that got me so mad when it did. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> they simultaneously discovered the wheel of fire and religion. I don't know why that was so funny, but it was. <sighs> yeah, thank you. That was fantastic. Goodbye. <gasps> okay, so. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but it was. Um, I'm gonna go to this moon just because. Oh my god. <sighs> Waffles, uh, after we finish this up, we're going to be playing Canarium. And I'm going to be getting super spooked on stream and crying like a, like a little girl. Um, you should stick around for that. Saying. I don't know, I don't know what your plans are about three hours from now, but... That's going to be happening. <laughs> Lethal Flaming Wheel 2020. Oh yeah. 
Everybody vote for Lethal Flaming Wheel. <laughs> You'll set us on the path of progress. I don't know why I'm gathering this gold, but I can. So I will. I don't need it. Like, the only thing I need to buy now is fuel. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we did that. Oh, the core are after me. Um, so we went to the Zotfuck Pit homeworld. So I guess I'm going to go to the Aura's Playground now. Which seems like a super bad idea. Um, where's the Aura's Playground? 372 by 261. 372 by 261. Is that just their homeworld? Oh shit. I'm gonna get caught by whatever this is. No, oh, no I'm not! Gave him the slip. Oh my god, there are just so many ships following me right now. Um, I assume this is just their homeworld. I don't know what else this would be. I'm going to save my game. Because I'm a smart boy. Man, the, I find the Arulare and the Ores super interesting. That might be the most interesting part of this game. I don't know about you guys, but I find them the most interesting. Like, the extra-dimensional, like, beyond our understanding part of it, I love. I love it so much. IDF, interdimensional fuckery beings. <laughs> what is what is IDF? I'm gonna assume it's interdimensional fuckery. Hey, is that a? Uh... Is this a rainbow world? Surely not. It's green. A lot of stuff here. Not that I can actually... Interdimensional fuckery beings. That's what I'm gonna call it. Okay, so... I think I'm in the right place. I'm just gonna start going around to planets, I guess. Maybe I'm not in the right place. Interdimensional fatigue, okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Like, when we first met the ores? I assume... Um... I mean, they didn't want to talk about the Anderson. So, I assume... Something went on there. I don't know what it is. Hey, Dragon King, how you doing tonight? I don't know, why, why am I even scanning these planets? Um... Happy pieces. Squirting nice colors. <laughs> Why? The reason. Camper friends have come to Taylo Playground. He's squirting nice Why colors. Why am I coming to this? That's an excellent question. I don't know. Dragon King, I hope you're having a good Halloween. Happy Halloween. Eat lots of candy. Um, get spooked. All that. After we uh, finish up Star Control tonight. We are going to play Canarium, and I would get super spooked and scared and probably wet myself, so.
is... I think somebody mentioned this. The, the song in the background. Is it saying die? I think one of my YouTube commenter commenters might have said something to that to that nature. Is it? it I think somebody left a comment on YouTube about it. And then when I heard it, I was like, holy shit. That's saying die, right? Wait, what about Scooby? What about Scooby? What are you talking about? Dragon King, do you hear it? No, I think it is. Uh, yeah, what do you mean by play around? The song uses a sample of Scooby? Maybe? I hear it. The I can't do that sound, but I hear it now. Yeah, I hear it. <laughs> I, I would have never realized that. That's amazing. That's so good. I did say words. It is fun in between. More fun than dancing. Dancing is fighting. Gravity centers. This is why we like the new town. So many campers. Gravity centers are going to be planets or stars, something with heavy gravity. Even heavy space is the space we're in now, not smooth or slick space or whatever. At this playground, the Halo are making time jokes. It is time too jokes. funny for the oars. The Halo are in heavy space, and next what? Heavy space is normal space. To pretty space because Denari are chasing them. Pretty space is hyperspace? Sleeping, so Oris can chase them. Then we can have a party. They are even better campers than you. Do not feeling bad. You are good enough campers, but not yet. I'm so confused. Um. Yeah, why are you here at this point? I will tell. This is the Halo Playground. So Playground is Homeworld. Do you know? The Halo is not anymore the heavy space. They are not... They're in hyperspace or quasi-space. To play with the Halo, ores must spread into pretty space. Spread? There are so into hyperspace. many good places for this year. Ors are happy. Of course, you do not know Taylo. You are campers. campers. You cannot go into pretty space. Too bad. Is pretty space quasi space? Because it would make sense that they don't think we can go into quasi space. Star Control 2's music is formatted as mod files. Scooby and Taco Bell are the actual names of the instruments in those files. Amazing. Scooby and Taco Bell. What's that a video of? Waffles, what are these videos? What are you doing? What have you done? Oh, the Taco Bell sound? That's just the bell. <laughs> I 
I get it now. The Spothy theme is just Taco Bell sets. That is... That is actually fantastic. That is awesome. There's a lot of theories. Dude, like... I'm, I'm trying to translate these, like, quoted, these asterisk places, like, as they're saying them. But, like, I, I, man, I would need it just written down. I feel like I'm getting some of it. Oh, I don't know if I am or not. Good, I don't want you to be upset. You are happy campers. Certainly, you are only slow time walkers. It is not fun on the surface in slow, slow time. time. If you want to go, that is okay. Okay, now, I don't think they mean time when they say time. Because time is also asterisk. And the Ari Lularele. Little, 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 like the only thing they said that was in asterisks was time. The word time was the only thing. So time does not mean time. There's an energy spot. Um. So time does not mean time to the oars or the Ari Lulari Lay. I don't know. I can't say their name. Um. Hmm. Alright, I'm full. Boop. Found an unusual glowing rock thing here on the surface. When we first noticed it, we thought it was a naturally fluorescing igneous dike. But upon closer observation, we can only conclude that this object is artificial in origin. To Alo design. Those guys sure built a last simple radiometric show an age of excess of 20,000 years. Regardless of how old it is, it continues to radiate energy all up and down the EMR spectrum with a concentration of emissions in the red and infrared range. Even though it weighs a ton, we will definitely lug this puppy up to the ship. One last comment? Two ensigns have reported extreme headaches and mental disarray. Uh, affects only certain people's mind. Ah, oh. interesting. Hmm. Okay, so I need to go back and have the star base look at this. Man, I'm... Dude, I am... Man, the, the ores? God, I can't tell where anything is now because the Illrath have moved so far. And it's throwing me off. Um... The ores and the Ari Lulari Lay. Ari Lulari. I'm never going to say that rhyme, name right. Eta Vulp. The Ari Lu are the Roswell Greys. Yeah. Uh, they're the aliens that have visited Earth before. Yep, we knew that. They come from above, and the ores come from below. Ari Luli Lale? Ari Luli Lale. Okay. Ari Lulale. La Ari Luli Lale. That's a mouthful. And a Vepicule? I need to go. Oh yeah, that, that was the uh that was the other homeworld, right? Are above and below meant to infer heaven and hell? It could. That could be... 
Is that what they mean by pretty space? Is that supposed to be... Heaven? Ari Lu La Lile? That sounds, that sounds more correct. I think you got your Lee and your Law backwards. Ari Lu La Lile. Ari Lu La Lile. Yeah. I'm at your disposal, Captain. Fantastic. I have some information I think you should hear. Give me that info. It would appear your diplomatic efforts have struck gold, Captain. We've been contacted Ari by a race called the Zok Fot Pick. Who wish to fulfill right their on. part of the unification. Something you have arranged with them, I gather. Are you Lulali Lake? Man, I'm, I love that name. Attack vessels, as well as a large number of Are you Lulali Lake? Commanding officers. You're doing a fine job, Captain. I just want to say Ari Lulali Lake. Like forever now. That's such a good name. Um. Yeah, the entrance of the homeworld. Yeah, I definitely need to go there. I, I'm definitely going there. Take these minerals. More fuel for the fire, eh, Captain? Uh, oh yeah. Um. The analysis reads as follows. Subject to Alo device. Data, whoever the Alo were, they were clever, way past us, probably even beyond the Chen Jesu. As far as I can tell, with all our equipment, this thing is a rock. Just a rock. Nothing but a rock. However, if you feed a current into it, anywhere along its surface, Everyone on board this starbase who has Esper potential gets a bad headache. Oh, okay. Well, we checked a bit more into that, and when the Taelo thing is active, all evidence of Psycon interaction is flatlined. Nothing gets through. Summary, if you keep this Taelo rock device thing on board your vessel, I'll bet you're immune to any form of psychic attack, or at least mostly immune. That's the end of our scientist's report. Okay. What does that do for me? Is this how the Urquan are shielding themselves from the parasites? <laughs> Immune to psychic attacks. Mm -mm. The only thing I can think is the parasites that were controlling the Urquan. Is there something else I'm forgetting? We shall await your return, Captain. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's something else I'm forgetting. Uh, I can get fuel from the uh, the Dinyari. the talking yeah but when I asked about the talking pet they got all mad and attacked me what am I forgetting something about the Dinyari I feel like I am what am I forgetting I remember the, I remember the talking pets. And I remember them getting real mad when I asked about the talking pets. Will I be able to ask them about the talking pets now? Because I have that? Maybe they say some different stuff. I think that was in, that was in my notes. Yeah. Figure out about the talking pet from the Unga. That was the next thing in my notes, actually. The Urquan genetically modified the Dinyari to be dumb animals after they won their slave revolt. Kept them around as translators. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Um, hmm. Come sell me fuel. Welcome back, Captain. Damn straight, I'm your favorite customer. Uh, Hundred credits, perfect. Uh, 
fill my tanks. Um, best biomedics in the quadrant, and the Arilu gave them a wounded talking pet. Is the wounded talking pet the wounded talking pet? Is one of the Dinyari? Hold up. Did the Utwig just move? Oh yeah, the Utwig are moving, of course. Um. Let's see. E. Okay. Need to go. Acidic Goose is here. How are you doing tonight, Acidic Goose? How goes it? You're not here? No, okay. Nobody look at Acidic Goose. He's not here. Everybody cover your eyes. Um, Where's the... Okay, the Unga homeworld. Where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Aranus. In the Aranus constellation. That's all I know, I think. What? What? Where in the Oranus constellation is the Umga homeworld? I assume I need to go to the, the homeworld. I mean, maybe I don't, but... Basidikus, how you doing tonight? How's your Halloween going? Happy, happy Halloween. Tell me, Basidikus, are you pigging out on candy? I hope so. It's what Halloween's all about. Stormy and just got off work. Oh, the Ploppy host. Ploppykins, thank you for the host. If Ploppykins is even here. Or if you just like hosted me from afar. I don't know, it could go either way. Save the game. New phone, who this? Ploppy, it's me. You know me. Hey, Ploppy. How'd the rest of your stream go? Good, I hope. Uh, I'm just going to talk to any of these. I blew up a lot of these guys last time. When I was mad with power. There's a tornado watch where you are? Damn. It's been super windy where I am. It was okay, but you're tired? Well, Plop, go nap for like four hours, then come back and watch me play Canarium. And you can see me s -s like a s scream like a scared little girl. <laughs> Plop sends her lukewarm love. Oh shit, they're just attacking me. Hold up. Whoa. Easy. No. I, they're just attacking me. I can't talk to them. This is a problem. I don't like this. Now, hold up. Hold up. Do I have to go to their homeworld? <laughs> Gray, what do I do? Do I have to go to their homeworld? Are they mad because I blew so many of them up last time? I think they're mad. They seem really mad. Where's... Like, all I know is their homeworld is in... This star system. Where Where's it at? It's in this, constel this constellation, but what, what star system is it at? Beta? Do it. Let's get out of here. There's so many of them. I blew up a lot of them last time. I can understand why they're mad. I mean, I did I did go mad with power and destroy just countless thousands of them. I blew up a lot of their ships. It wasn't cool of me. Oh, oh my god. I'm willing to admit that. It was not cool of me at all. Alright, I'm just gonna slip right in here. Nobody's even gonna notice. Okay, they're going to notice. That's fine, though. I can outmaneuver them. I'm I'm just so slippery. They'll never catch me. It's fine. Look how slippery I am. There are so many of them. <laughs> there are just so many. No. You'll never take me alive. 
Oh my god, there are so many. I'm gonna slip right by. Yeah! I'm the man. Give me the claps. What do you want? Uh... Hi. Yeah. I am a, a peaceful creature, a friendly alien life form. The Urquan called us talking pets. Uh -huh. Recently, I was employed on a dreadnought starship as a translator. This guy seems pretty chill. After the ship suffered severe damage from combat, we crashed at Alpha Pavonis. Miraculously, I survived. Who was rescued by an Ari Lu Lolly Lay exploration vessel? The Ari Lu, they couldn't heal my most severe injury, so they brought me to the Oonga who possessed superior bioengineering skills. Yeah. Ploppy, thank you so much for the host, by the way. Um I assume you're going to be leaving to go get some sleep now. <laughs> uh have a good night. Sweet dreams, Ploppy. You're the best. I love you. Hmm. Now. Oh yeah, I figured you were, Plop. I, I, I knew you wouldn't be here very long. Well, I'm in. Was that I'm in bed? Did you take me to bed with you like, like usual? Timo was gifted a sub, Plop. Wait, I'll... also, how do you know that? Oh, she was the last one that got gifted a sub. She got gifted a sub. Plop. <laughs> last time, last stream, Kaz came in and Kazimiro came in and I think gifted six subs. So, that's how she got her sub. Um, What do you mean, where? Why would I ask where the Unga? They've been fucking everywhere shooting at me. Um, don't beat up Tema. Tema's sweet. For unrelated? Oh, as long as it's unrelated. Also, guys, check out my sweet Ghostbusters shirt. Just so you know. Plop and Tim a meetup. I mean, they're sisters. I'm sure they've met up before. Speaking of meetups, Galaxy's gonna be here staying in my house next week. So maybe we'll do a maybe we'll do a Moco Galaxy stream next week. <laughs> yeah, there's no green, so there's no holes in my body right now. Um Is it the Unga? I Is she going to pass out drunk? Probably. Uh, because she's very much a lightweight. And cannot keep up with me. Last time she was here, she got she got real... We played 8-Bit uh, Fiesta and did the drinking game. She got real fucked up. Um, what do you mean, is it the Yunga Waffles? Are those green ships that I blew up a lot of last time not actually the Umga? It's true, Plop. You and you and uh, you and Galaxy are kindred spirits in more ways than one. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What? I can't permit you to reveal my transformation. No, Whatever don't do that. I find out, then my plans for revenge will be ruined. Well, I tried to spare your life, Captain, but you were just too curious. So now, seek death at the hands of your enemy. No, don't. What? Your mind is ah. Ah. Now I understand. No, don't do that. Summon your tank 
combat chips and attack this intruder instantly. No! Don't! This son of a bitch. I literally had to be carried home earlier this week. Um, I may or may not have to, like, throw Galaxy over my shoulder and carry her off stream when she's here. That may happen. That remains to be seen. Um, I'm assuming I should... Oh my god! I'm assuming I should run away from this and try to talk to him again. I assume. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, there's so many of them. They're closing in on me. Huh? There we Why go. Aren't you dead? Oh, what a bummer. I will remedy <laughs> What a bummer. Find someone who will kill you. I cannot compel you. I How can this be? I am forced to resort to more primitive measures. Ungar commander, summon your ten combat chips and attack. No, don't. Instantly. What? Will he just not talk anymore? Do I? Hmm. All right, no. No, I'm leaving. Oh God, okay. God, there's so many. No, no, damn it. Talk to me. What do you mean, I'm a, I know too much? What are you talking about? What? Why? Why are you so angry? Damn it. Plop, you're not fat. You're absolutely beautiful. Oh, you are interfering Don't even. with my plans of revenge against Urquan. The penalty for this transgression is death. No, yours. I now want. I want to help you. Yeah, you know this. What? I am forced to resort to more primitive measures. Ungar commander, summon your ten combat chips and attack this intruder instantly. It's club's birthday day, July 9th. Well, damn. Uh. Remember how powerful a single Dinyari is said to be. Like, taking over an entire alien homeworld? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to just run away and come back and try to get him to talk to me. Get ready to kill his defenses? I'm trying to... I want to, like... I want to get him to talk to me, but maybe I just need to start shooting shit. I mean, maybe? No! Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this mess. Um... I have to tilt it and kill 10 of them? Alright. Alright, I can do that. My spirit animal is a long lost cask that has become sentient and is now a golem that seeks the death of the innocent. What the fuck are you talking about, <laughs> Acidic Ooze? I mean, I love it. No! We're gonna blow shit up. I'm, I'm done. I'm done talking to them. I'm done talking to the Umga. I don't need to understand? That's fine. I, I just won't understand then. Uh, those extra messages that Dinyari is giving you is meant for if you don't have the Tallow Shield? Yeah, like telling me to do stuff? I, I got you. Why do you keep yeah, they're... Negative. I cannot compel you. Your mind is closed to me. How can this Glub, we're gonna blow some shit up, don't you worry. Uh send you to the middle of Earth on space. Fantastic. Alright, I'm just gonna blow these bitches up. This is what we're doing now. Glub, happy belated birthday. We're blowing up unsuspecting Umga. Yeah, we're going mad with power. Oh my god! 
day in. <laughs> if they get that like initial like zip in on you, it's a it's a real problem. They'll fuck you up real fast. Has Ploppy died? I feel like Ploppy died. Plop, we're we're trying to defend the universe, Plop. All you need to know is these ships stand no chance against me. I've gone mad with power. I'm just murdering, murdering them willy-nilly. That's all you need to know. My ship is epic compared to these guys. That's what you need to know. I'm ruthlessly murdering them like you do in most RPGs with, you know, everyone you meet. Uh... Glub, you and Ploppy only say that because you weren't here for the sex scene last time. Yeah. Yeah, Plop, Glub, you, Glub, you were, you, you, then, then why would you say that? Plop missed the, the sex scene. Plop missed the uh, Sirene sex. You watched the VOD of it? There you go. Plop, you actually, you watch my VODs? Plop. Plop, you're such a sweetheart. Are you now? I mean, Glub, you you are correct that there. Absolutely. This guy's full shit. You have saved me. Now you can safely remove your safety protection device and leave. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, baby. yep. Why are you looking at me like that, Captain? Don't you're full of shit. You question my word. Little brown blob. Okay, okay, so I was lying. Big deal. So what? Boy, are you a pain. Do you know that? What do you want from me? My life? Oh, you do? Hmm. Well, <laughs> as an alternative, let me make this little suggestion. All right, let's hear it. Kill me. I'll help you do whatever you wish. <laughs> I mean, deal, that's a pretty good deal. Mm hmm. <sighs> hmm. Glub, you are 100% correct in that. Um. A pizza? A pizza. Glove's hand. A girl. Wait. In what? I'm gonna need numbers to go with that. Because you just said Plop is more attractive. I mean, everybody loves pizza. Nobody doesn't like pizza. Um. What are you really? Gladly. Tell me. Aboard an Urquan dreadnought. Those years are like a forgotten dream to me. Because I wasn't sentient. I was a dumb beast. An unthinking slave to the heinous Urquan. Then there was a great... Glub, I think you need to rethink your priorities. Slaves running down the corridors. Commands, countercommands. Then there was a scream atmosphere outside the hull. There was a big explosion of light thunder. We hit the surface of a planet. Glub, you're going to have to rethink your priorities. Because... Plop is pretty hot. I was in great pain. But the creature was kind. It did what it could for me by applying its own medicines from an alien form. I was transported off planet. And I remember it all pervading mm. green light. Then we were at the home world we are in. Again, Captain, forgive me if I'm not more clear, but I wasn't intelligent yet. Give me a chance. I presume my injuries were too severe for the Ardu to repair. Or perhaps I reacted badly to their medicines or something. Because the next thing I remember was being moved back into a ship. Things grow dim. My next memory is being on board an Umgah starship. Wet flesh throbbing all around me. Umgah laughing as they worked on my body. It was kind of unnerving. Hmm. Suddenly, like the explosion of a bomb, thought, I mean, real thought, flooded my brain. I don't know how or why, but the Umgah had discovered that my brain could be easily changed. 
Give me true intelligence. What they didn't realize is it also brought back a flood of memories. Memories of my species' ancient past. From before the time the Urquan castrated our thinking minds and transformed my people into crude beasts. I'm the only intelligent Denari left in this galaxy, Captain. Now you understand my lust for vengeance. Your four-year-old sister is also watching the stream? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, everybody be super nice. Waffle says as their little sister watching. Plop. Talking to you. Plop, get your mind out of the gutter. Like two seconds. Uh. It's all true, Captain. Every word. Now listen. And I shall tell you why the Earth One did this to us. It was over 20,000 of your years ago, Captain, when an Earth One hmm. slave raider landed on the surface of my world and began capturing my people, killing those that would not Plop is cool. Plop's super How cool. How can I know this, you ask? These memories are embedded deep in my genetic structure. They cannot be forgotten. How we fought the Earth One. Even then, hmm. they had a hierarchy of combat thralls. Though then they called themselves by the absurd name, the sentient milieu. Ha! They were nothing more than thugs. Especially those hideous Taelo. Those evil rock-like creatures. Aww. Worst of all, rock-like creatures. They take one of our children and then roll over it again and again. Oh, the war against the Urquan and their milieu lasted decades. Millions of our people died. But with the forces hmm. of truth, justice at our side we were prevailing i don't then i don't know if anything this guy is saying is true their fateful discovery a shield against our only weapon our weak psychic powers yeah, that shield no. never unstoppable we weak psychic us. powers but i've taken one, over an entire race satisfied very with our defeat <laughs> our slavery they wanted more they wanted to punish us for our insolence in fighting back against them so they divided hmm. the sickest most cruel and perverse punishment ever imagined. They invaded our very genetic structure, packed out enough of our minds to lobotomize us for all eternity. And then we were made their closest Not servants, cool. their talking pets. This was our punishment. Huh. Yes, what sort of deal would you offer me? Uh, I get the basic idea. You want to overthrow the Earth one. I do. Bravo, good idea, way to go. <laughs> I too wish to see the Beaten, humiliated, destroyed, and I alone possess a unique mm. ability that will help you achieve your goal. Oh, yeah? I can use my psychic powers to temporarily distract your. Aha! There we go. There's our distraction. Presumably, you will use this moment to strike a lethal blow against your crime. Yeah. There we go. Fail, Captain. We must see to that. Yeah, let's do that. It's true. How can I possibly trust you? Uh. Hey, Tracing, you'll be sucking vacuum. Captain, Captain, calm down. Be reasonable. Listen to me. I am nothing more than a single being, hardly larger than one of your Earth dogs. Woof, woof. My only weapon. Woof, woof. Weak psychic abilities have been yeah, a right. protective device. I am harmless. But perhaps I can be of some small service to you. Consider this my hopeful attempt to compensate you for. He keeps saying weak psychic abilities. He's trying to make it seem like he's not as much of a threat as he is. To the future, to victory over the evil Urquan, I am your secret weapon against these tyrants, Captain. Don't leave me here. <sighs> You're a lying, boneless dweeb. Uh. Okay. Like he can't do anything to me. He can't do anything to me, but if I take him with me, and any of my allies around, he could have them just blow me up. But why would he do that? He's after the Urquan. Uh, God, this is, this is probably the most dangerous thing that we've come across. Uh, no drinks, <sighs> I don't know whether I fucked up or not. 
your side now. Together, we will make a great team, Captain. This day, Floppy, he's been seduced. Successfully seduced. I am coming aboard your ship now. I will make Everybody in this galaxy loves me. Of your ship's hold. When you wish to talk with me, yeah, this is the most dangerous creature that we've come across, by far. Waffles, I love you. Wait, why are most of them moving off but not all of them? Oh, they're going to okay, orbit the planet. Okay, uh, we did that. That's, that's all the notes I had for this time? Talk to the Yunga? Okay. Glove only glubs plops. I mean, if you're if you're only gonna glub one person, plops is a good choice. It's true, I am your savior. You're absolutely right. Okay. Reward? Cool. They're so excited. Okay, I've released them from the thrall of the Dinyari. That's good. I am a great hero. This is true. Damn. Dude is thirsty. The sphincter makes you anxious? Why is that, Floppy? They're so grateful. more. Uh, yeah, tell me all your secrets. Gentle blobbies. Uh, you do owe me big time. I've freed your entire species. Yeah, reward me. Make Ploppy super uncomfortable with your sphincter. No. No, not easily appreciated. Vigorous esters. No. Too common. Have it! Have it! Genetic modification. Yes, it's perfect. Okay. We added some extra eyes. You intend to fix other organs of whatever size and shape you desire. What? You not want more organs? I have all the organs I need. You sure? How strange. Floppy, do you need any more organs? They can give you some more organs. We only got have nothing but vast supply of biological skills and data. The city goose wants all of the tentacles. You want biological data? Waffles wants a tail. Yeah, give me all the biological data. What do you care? You hear me. Whatever you want. Are they gonna give me like an unlimited supply of biological data? I don't know. Did they? Uh, 500 bio data? Okay. Damn. That's a lot of fuel. Um, I know how the talking pet controlled the species. Um, tell me all your secrets. All of them. Tell me about them. Did I? I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't scared. <laughs> These guys can't do shit to me. 
My cards. It's about my cards. It's gonna be something I know already. My cards. Only other race we know of that have same kind of biotech. Ah, okay. As Uga. Uga. Amazing. <clears throat> they do all with their own products. Don't need to. They just think. Genetic modification. And it happens. All right. Found that pretty hard on <clears throat> So when nobody <laughs> we clonk one on the head. We clonk one on I like head. it. Bring it back here to the whole world and slice it up. Tickle study. We slice it up. Are the Mycon we not figure out much the uh 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 Anderson? Get that pretty much all of this. Oh do a favor. Please not tell anybody about I won't tell anybody that you clonked a Mycon. Kind of sent their human clones? I knew that, but like I don't know, the way they talked about it, I'm like, did, did, did the Andresynth become the Mycons? But I guess not. Um, yeah, I'm mean, gonna get out of here. No, great human. I get this funny feeling. Would like to know what feeling is? Oh, good. I tell you. My feeling is that great hero stuff. Well, boring. Not funny at all. You only okay. say, hail, hail, hail. Before starts to lose appeal, so true, true. instituting slight deviation in course of our relationship. Specifically, instead of being dull and lightless great hero, you now glamorous and exciting great enemy. Uh, oh, we give you some of our drone ships to make even more what? interesting. Yes, this is going to be lots more fun. Here, let me show you. Are these gonna attack me now? These guys are assholes. Oh my god. No, I've had enough of your bullshit. What? Fuck out of here. If I had space, they would have given me four ships, but I don't. Are these gonna attack me forever because I'm at their homeworld? I'm at their homeworld, so they're just gonna spawn forever, right? <laughs> well, ain't that a bitch? Um, God, these guys are assholes. I hate them. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Umga are jerks. Fuck the Umga. Oh, why? I'm blowing them up. I hate these guys. They're the worst. Fuck them. Come at me, bitch. <laughs> Diungas suck. I've gone mad with power. These guys are jerks. No! Stop it! I'm gonna go get more more fuel and more crew. God. The Umga are the worst. <laughs> I hate them. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. These guys are jerks. I'm just gonna go get more crew. Lives are Oh my god. I'm not gonna really get away, am I? I can talk to the Dinari on my ship in the cargo? Cool. 
Like, I can just select him and talk to him? That's cool. I'm gonna try to do that if I can ever get, get away from these assholes. No! I can't get away. Because every time I get out of this area, there's so many of them, I just... I just instantly, because they're following me. I'm just going to have to destroy their entire species. That's all there is to it. I just have to kill them all. This, this is all, this is the only thing, it's all, it's, uh, I have to. I have just to destroy an entire species. This is the end for them. The problem is, like, because of where I am, like, every time I load in, it loads me in back at the homeworld. Then when I run out, they're instantly behind me. And it... Oh! Okay, I gotta wait th that time. Fantastic. Thank God. Those guys are the actual worst. Uh, some devices? Oh, talking pet. Nice. Alright, I'm going back to... Um... Uh, where's the... Okay. It's this one. I'm gonna get crew, I'm gonna get fuel. Um... Manifest. Devices. God, the Umga are the worst. <laughs> and that, I believe, is... No. Soul is over here. Okay. Come sell me fuel! The Sidikus, you're not the worst. A thousand credits, not five hundred. It was a thousand. That's probably all the fuel I need for the rest of the game. Alright. Five hundred biodata worth a thousand credits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's probably all the fuel I need for the rest of the game, I think. So that's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, I need to talk to the pet. Manifest. Devices. Captain, uh, the Tehalo device on board this vessel is uh, giving me a headache. Please remove it. Now, Captain. No. It is foolish to resist. Hmm. It remains more effective than I thought. You're still able to disobey. Ah, uh, well. What can I do for you, Captain? Um... I yeah. consider such a question to be intrusive and impolite, but that is consistent with your behavior. What do you want to know? You mean my superior brain? My mental prowess? Nah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Alright. Captain, I don't think you meant to ask about my powers. I did. Didn't you mean did to I? ask about flowers? Flowers are beautiful and smell nice. Oh, now, being okay. A human, leave me alone. Well. An excellent idea, Captain. You must have a great deal of work to attend to. Goodbye. Oh. If I talk to him enough, can he get to me? Oh, Captain, it is less than comfy down here. Ship's cargo Good. Send down some pillows. Now, no, I will not give you pillows. Huh. I consider such a question. Yeah, yeah. Over 20,000 years ago, my species was happy and carefree. Living so there's certain things I just can't ask him. On the surface of our world, Ventiflork. We spent our time gathering foods, creating art, and compelling each Waffles other. Waffles loves talking about flowers. Then, a ship from the sentient milieu landed and well, things got pretty complicated. 
Oh. A sentient milieu where a bloodthirsty empire that ruled a large section of the galaxy for thousands of years. Is anything he says true? Partially true. So he's telling true things with his, from his perspective, with his spin on it. Well, after we'd been in contact with the male you for a while, they decided to kill all of our species. Now, does that sound like a reasonable, friendly bunch of aliens? Hmm? Huh? Does it, Captain? No, it does not. Well, I don't like you. Quick, my species lost. Instead of just killing us, the Urquan modified our genes. Our children were born non sentient. Dumb animals. Yeah, after you enslaved them for many, how long? We Denari have been serving the Urquan in the most demeaning way they could imagine. I don't like the Denari. They're jerks. Mindless translators who communicate the words of inferior races. You mean my superior brain? My mental prowess? I don't want to talk about it. This game is like space squid billies. <laughs> oh man, I haven't watched squid billies in a while. Screen Billies is amazing. Uh, it is cold and empty. I could use a thermal blanket. Since it is incredibly boring down here, I am using the opportunity to try and get some sleep. The first thing I do is to make sure I have a strong ship and fleet. I have that. Goodbye, human. Hmm. Okay. Let's go get some more crew. Because a lot of them died. They got tongued to death. You know how it is. Uh, do I have, any, see you again, do I have anything to give him? What happened to Super Jail? The analysis reads as follows. Subject, talking pet life form. Data, this creature is physiologically identical to the so-called Urquan talking pet with one notable exception. It is highly intelligent and evidences strong psychic capability. Yep. Initial AIQR test rated it well above human super genius, though immediately after we made this shocking assessment, <laughs> its scores dropped to the normal subnormal range. Interviews with the subject have shown it to be cooperative, though a class 4 pan species psychological profile places the creature far into the furtive, hateful domain. Hmm. There were also some disturbing incidences where we talked about roses, daisies, yep. and other pretty flowers. Summary, everything's okay, nothing to worry about with this cuddly little guy. Not one thing. Yeah, definitely nothing to worry That's about. That's the end of our scientist report. It's definitely going to uh, take us over in the end and 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 just fuck over everything. Bring back lots of minerals, Captain. <sighs> I should not have brought it aboard. That's a bad move. I definitely should have never brought it aboard. I fucked up. Um. Uh, I want to go. I want to do both of those things. I want to go to the Andrasent Home World first. Yeah, they fucked up my crew supply. That is true. Um, they got a couple really lucky runs on us, and really messed up my crew. Airlock the pet. Is that a thing I can do? Is that possible? I might want to do that actually because it is not tr uh, like I think I need it to deal with the Urquan, but I do not trust that thing at all. Um, yeah, I was gonna say I need it to for the distraction, but I don't trust it, and I think it's gonna cause some problems later. Um, the the Andersenth homeworld. Where is that located? Do you have coordinates? Yeah. 
Edda Vulpiclali 2 in over space. Uh, eh. I had it. There we go. Hmm. I feel like the ores are not going to be happy about us going to the Androcent homeworld. Would I be correct in that? Because they got real mad when we asked about the Androcent. Like, real mad. Yeah. They really didn't like it asking about the Anderson. Oh yeah, I'm definitely saving as soon as I come out of hyperspace. <laughs> that was that was the plan. Alright. There's so many systems very close to each other here. Alright. Save it. The second planet. Second planet. No! I am expanding. It is so much squishy to smell you. Campers are the best. Hmm. I have anticipation. And then what? Better party in the middle for sure. Yep, I've heard that already. Waffles, are you super squishy? Are you such squishy? There's gonna be an energy. Holy shit, there's lots of energy. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, there are lots of energy readings on this planet. <laughs> ah! So we've got what looks to be irradiated cities. Or something. And lots of like amoeba looking things. Worm! Eh. Um. Okay. Xeno. Xeno historian Kilgore here, sir. We have confirmed that these ruins are the remnants of the Androsynth culture. From the mass destruction we have witnessed, we can only assume that there was some kind of huge land war. Within the past five years? No signs of orbital bombardment or invasion from space. Just a whole mess of buildings shot to pieces. No corpses. Appeared out of nowhere, blasted everything with nuclear bazookas, then grabbed all the entrances and disappeared. Located in Anderson Scientific Research Station. About seven years ago, the Anderson began experimenting with something they called dimensional fatigue. Ah, okay. All right.
Another research institute. Yeah. Yeah, dimensional fatigue, which allows you to enter quasi space. Their studies actually began over 10 years ago. Alpha Lalande. Nothing on Okay, that's what I was going to ask if I need to go to Alpha Lalande. Thank you. Um, some kind of life form on the other side in quasi space, I assume. Aberrations. Mosquito Mange? <laughs> oh shit, did Borowski go insane? Science Center is pretty much intact. So he's gaining knowledge beyond this universe and losing his mind. Yeah. So, he knows too much and now they can see him. Them, yeah. They. So, is it the ores doing this? Okay, so... The ores are camping out, waiting for people to develop an understanding yeah, they're only the fingers. When do people develop enough of understanding to see... Because they're the fingers. When people develop enough understanding to start to see the hand and the rest of what they are, they kill them and they hunt them. And apparently that's, that's some sort of sport for them. The ores and them are related, yeah. Oh, will they not? They will. Will they not inspect any more cities? They're just done. There's like, nah, we ain't doing this shit anymore. Interesting. Oh, got a resource. Huh? They just won't do anymore down here. Now, I 
Now, if I go talk to the oars... What happens if I talk to the oars now? Is that one coming for me? No. So this makes no difference for, to the orbs. Huh. So Brokowski gained some higher understanding and they killed him. But I like myself, don't have that understanding, so I'm safe from them. Dragon King, my my Halloween is going good. I haven't really done anything Halloween-y. Um, but, I mean, it's been a good day. Um, what about you, Dragon King? How are you, how you doing? Also, Gray, remind me where the where their home world is. Do I have Procyon? Procyon is it's kind of by itself somewhere. I don't remember where. Oh, Procyon, where are you? It's like way out in the middle of nowhere. I can't remember now. North? That's Beetlejuice. It's like, it's off by itself, right? Near Ilrath? Northwest of Earth. Old era. Yeah, I got you. I couldn't remember the position of where it was. I knew it was kind of off by itself, but I couldn't remember where. So, is there anything more I can do with the ores? Or have I reached the end of, like, their interactions? I'm so ready to be disappointed, right? I'm so ready to be disappointed. Um, so I, I guess that's the the end of what I can do with the ores, right? There's like, there's like nothing else for me to do with them, right? Or at least I can't think of a way to do. Yeah, I'm near the end of the interactions. So many theories. Uh, we're going there, Waffles. Here we go. Um, I guess we're ready to, like, enact the final plan, the endgame. It's endgame time, yeah? Alright, thanks for the alert, Dragon King. Alright. Which planet? They're on the blue planet, I think. Is that right? I feel like that's right. Yeah. Yeah. You are ready. I'm ready. You are fully you hear that? prepared for the undertaking. There is every chance I'm so that you prepared. will be able to destroy the Sumatra and stop both the Urquan and the Quora. <laughs> Let's do this damn thing, man. We will now fit the precursor weapon and our own crystal amplification system to your vessel Hell yeah. by routing a portion of your flagship's fusion power through the weapon's ignition chamber. 
its destructive force will be multiplied by a large factor. Right on. Yeah, it's your vessel will be fantastic. Annihilated. All right, then. Uh, that's not great. No. Proceed. Let's do the damn thing. Is that the the massive disappointment that I run it that this is a suicide mission? So that you and your human companions may make any necessary preparations at your star base. Okay. So I need to go back home. Transport you and your crew back to Earth immediately. All right. Good luck, Captain. A bigger dis oh yeah, give it to me. Disappoint me, Daddy. I'm at your disposal, Captain. I have some information I think you should hear. Great, We're receiving a priority distress call from the Zakfat homeworld at Alpha Tukane. The signal was urgent but extremely weak. The only portions of the transmission that we can be sure of are help. Black destroyer. Planet under attack. Help. Worse than Zebranki, whatever that means. And finally, help. Also, in the two weeks that have passed since the Shimmer began to work on your vessel, they attached the Utwig bomb to your ship and have also put in place their own crystalline amplification devices to boost dramatically the power of the weapon. This work is now complete and your flagship is ready for whatever final modifications you desire. Okay. The Shimmer technicians wanted me to explain to you that the bomb and its crystal power boosters are fragile and cannot be moved from their positions at the back of your vehicle. Now I have some bad news Wait. and some good news. The Shimura had to remove all your main modules. I see that. I saw that on the side. The whole lot, including your emergency warp escape unit, so pick your engagements carefully. Uh, In addition, there are now filled uh, the rear uh, slots, leaving you only six for your own modules. God but damn here's it. the good news. The Shimura have provided us with an unbelievable wealth of minerals and other resources. We okay. no longer have limits on what we can build for your flagship or your fleet. Oh. So mad. Okay. We're all depending on you. Goodbye and good luck. So, I'm going to be kamikaze. -ing. So, I, I'm going to be kamikaze at this point, so I don't need anything. Fuck me. The other, sh the other ships suck, though. Um, shipyard. Yeah, I need fuel. Um... So, what, don't I just want, like, all these ships? I don't need the Arlu ships, okay. Well, uh, I don't need them. Fine. Get, get the fuck out of here. Um... I assume I just want as many of these as I can get. I assume I just want avatars. Because they're the best ship I have access to right now, I believe, right? In the hands of someone who's comfortable using them. Okay. Because the, the Drew ship is essentially a sniper rifle. Right? Bootwig ships are great. Really? I mean, I'm going to get... Might as well fill up on the... 
Like, I know these are the strongest ships I have available to me. Uh, so I guess I'm going to do something like this. Strongest ships, yeah. I guess I'm just going to do this. Well, do I need the... Do I need this? I don't, I don't think. Unless there's something special about it that I don't know. Yeah, I got rid of the Druze ship. Um, I'm, I'm just going to load up on these. Oh my god, Mini Moko is so angry about being a baby right now. Like, just unbelievably angry. Um, yeah, Baby Moko is super mad. Uh, so I don't need any guns. I'm just not going to be using them. It, up here, it seems. Uh... I mean... <sighs> yeah, I need- I, I, yeah, I at least need fuel. But I feel like I'm just not gonna use any guns. Let's, let's fill it up with fuel. Because I'm not gonna be fighting with this ship anymore. Get, I could get crew just so it's more tanky just in case I need to pilot it for a little while. Then I could get <clears throat> I just do defense. But I'm not going to be fighting with it so I don't need any guns. So I just don't need anything on this ship, then do I? I, I actually just don't need anything. Uh, two fuel tanks, we'll do a crew pod just for some... I, there's just, there's nothing else to put on here then, except because if I'm not going to fight with it, I don't need any dynamo units or Shiva furnaces. I don't need any guns or tracking systems. Point defense for defense. Um, I could offload crew into other ships, I guess, for some reason. I have unlimited resources, but I just don't need to use them for anything at all. I'll fill it up, I guess, just because. But literally this ship is, I think the only, the only time it's going to be used is I'm just going to be pressing a button to blow it up. Right? I just don't need anything on the ship anymore. This is just a bomb. Uh, yeah, I have that in my notes. Yeah, that's true, and I can't escape with the flagship anymore. Like, I, I literally need no modules whatsoever on the flagship. I don't know why I did any of this, but I did. Base Kaz is raiding. Kaz, thank you for the raid. We're about to finish this game. Probably. Maybe.
Thank you everybody for joining me. Welcome to probably the end of this game. Uh, hey, Kaz, it is perfect timing because not only were we about to end, end this game, but after this game is over, I'm going to switch over to Canarium and get spooked. So, there you go. Yeah, this is this is gonna be I'm gonna be real bad at this. AG developer, this game was made in 1992. Do you have a problem with space pot plugs? 1993. Um Well, save the game because I'm I'm definitely gonna fail um and where where was where was where was the end where was the end um Craterius constellation that's where I'm going right as you as you developer what's your problem man what have you guys been doing? Kaz, what have you been up to tonight? Uh, Delta Crateris? Okay, that's where we're going. Where is Delta Crateris? It's somewhere around here. Okay, and how close can we get there? Played some indie spooks and hard siege crash. Hard si siege crashed on you mid game. Oh my god, what's happening? AG developer has followed me. Thank you, AG developer, for the follow. I will eat that follow. That your follows sustain me. It's all that keeps me going. <laughs> he was awful at siege, so he alt F forward and pretended to crash. Let's see how it is. Right. Uh Wow. Move turn invisible now because of all the green on my screen. Uh da 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 see. We're going here. Look at me, I'm all see through now. It's all the green happening on my screen. <laughs> the game alt F forward. It's a likely story. Uh, da, da. Well, I hope you guys stick around for... Why does my fuel get me, like, nowhere now? I have more fuel than I've ever had, and I can't get anywhere. I look alien? What? I look alien? This is it because I'm see-through? Um... Say Delta Crateris? Is that right? Let's go, let's do this thing. Yeah, when when there's enough green on the screen, I just become see-through. It's true. Oh my god, look at that. So many ships. They're so angry. Um let's save the game, shall we? Let's actually hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna do a thing before we do that. If I, if I were to do, say, something of this nature, uh, all right, now that I've done that, okay, Mr. Subes, I'm so glad, thank you. I do transcend time and space. I am an otherworldly being. Welcome all you lovely people from Base Taz. I hope you enjoy your stay here. I evaporate sometimes, it's true. I just... 
I forget that I need to keep this physical body intact. I just, I, I'm just gone. Well, okay, here we go. We're going to, uh... That distraction, that's right. Can I just... I sense the presence of my ancient slaves. It is time, Captain. Do the thing, man. Dude, guys, all the VODs of this are on YouTube. I suggest you watch them because this game's fucking insane. Like, legit, this is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. It's so good. I will. I will absolutely ignore them. Two hundred centuries. Dude, he's so mean. Okay, now, whatever you do, once I've started, don't leave the star system. We don't okay. have one chance at this. Let's make it good. Here I go. Uh... Alright, he's doing a thing. Cool. Um They're all confused. I'm I'm going to this planet, I assume. Probably ah. Uh... Oh. Think I'm gonna fuck off to sleep now. It's 3 a.m. Drunk and it's college night. Well, AG developer, thank you for the follow. Thank you for coming. Good night. Enjoy your drunken sleepiness. Keep an eye on Vector. Converse? I mean, both the, the Korra and the Corsair Zah are here. <laughs> Mr. Subes. I've been warned about Mr. Subes. There is something wrong here. Something which makes my sheath retract and my talons lose. I sense the ugliness of a thousand. Don't talk about your sheath. And I have located the source of these. Wait, AG developer, was that like all caps? They come from aboard your vessel. Foolish <laughs> renegade. Alright, I, I see it. Why have you come here? I think I can handle it. That you have found I can handle Seems. Your inevitable punishment. You may not approach the ancient Sumatra. The Sim. I'll handle you, don't you worry. Your presence here is further violation of the slave laws, which your species have already violated so flagrantly. I've been violating it like crazy, it's true. Subes, thank you for the follow. Your Welcome to whatever this is. Annihilation. <laughs> Alright, they're real mad. They want to annihilate me. Do I? All right, chat. Can I? Can I use? I can't. I have to fight my way through them before I can use the bomb. Because this ship can't do shit right now. I don't know how to use any of these other ships. What? Oh god, this does not turn very well. That went well-ish. Just blow it up. I'm just blowing it up. I'm blowing it all up. Alright, that's not good. It's bad. I beat one. All right, let's see what... God. Mm. <laughs> Subes. Yeah, Subes, be nice to Waffles. Waffles is cool. 
Be nice to waffles. Uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. I have no idea what that is. Is it a shield? I don't know. I can't hit him. There we go. No! Main weapon, laser, second weapon, tractor beam? Uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to have to try this a few times. Do I want to be this close to him, though? Jeez. Okay, I got him. I got him. That, that didn't work great. Oh, shit. No, stop it. That, we're not doing good. Yeah, this is not going well. Apparently, these ships are good. No. I'm I'm so boned. These ships are really maneuverable though. I'm boned. Bootwig are best against the Korra? Okay. <laughs> I'm so boned. Bunk is good with Sumatra. Ah, okay. I'm gonna have to reload this, obviously. Um Since their shield eat up Korra projectiles. Ah, ah, ah. It is like a space dragonfly. All right. Stop blowing up my little, whatever these light bulb bees are. All right. Oh god. I am in so much trouble. I'm gonna have to redo this. Waffles, I think you blocked Mr. Subes, but Mr. Subes says uh, that he humbly apologizes and did not mean to offend. So, Waffles, he's, he is sorry for offending you. Uh, and I hope that you will unblock him and you two will, will make up. Because we want everybody to be happy and included in this chat. Oh god, it uses a battery. I'm... Oh, I'm so boned. God. Uh, Mr. Subes says waffles can keep me blocked. He just wanted to be nice. Thank you, Mr. Subes, for being nice. That's, that's, that's all we ask here. I am so boned. It's in it's incredible just how boned I am right now. God. Oh yeah, the chat is on screen. Ah. No, don't launch fighters. This is terrible. I'm never making it through this. This is gonna take a while. Good old-fashioned telephone. Um, you can only regain battery by absorbing projectiles? Interesting. <laughs> you do now. <laughs> yeah, I was drawn by the flashy colors. It's true. So many flashy colors happening. Alright, alright, alright. Right. God, this is so short range. Stop launching fighters. Bootwig ships can last forever? Well, I'm definitely going to have to reload because I'm just getting my ass handed to me right now. I'm in real bad shape. CPU is invincible with the Outwig. Come to me.
I need to do a lot more damage than this. Uh, I'm in such trouble! Okay, we may need to rethink our strategy. Because all I have left is the Pekunk. And I can't do anything with them. Can't do anything with them. I'm so bad. I'm horrible with all vessels that are not my flagship. Doing flybys. Doing flybys. Damn it. <laughs> the Pekunks suck. They're the worst. Pekunk are terrible. They're useless. Yeah, how does... How does the, uh... Can't do anything here. <laughs> I literally can't do anything with this shit. Just shoot me. Just do it. Just kill me. <laughs> the point defense. Greetings, human friend. Wait, what? I know you're about to be attacking us, Sam. Yeah, we don't have ships left. We don't like being interrupted, but we have important news. Okay. The rebellion is won. Fantastic. We are victorious. We have pulled the Veep Neep Harpy Queen and her cronies from the High Perch. And better yet, we have found a new queen. That's a good. A queen who will unite the clans in peace and harmony as never before. Thank you, Scottish we space pterodactyls. A big gunk. Yes, it is true. They survived their absorption into our culture and are now providing us with insights into ourselves we never dreamed of. We only That's thought rad. we were being happy birds of prey. We were fooling ourselves. Our new queen's name is Breaky Gardira First. Yeah, it's, we got Welsh space pterodactyls. That's what's going on right now. Man, I'm telling you guys, you missed a lot not watching this game. This game's amazing. Was that it? Was that the last ship? Oh! Guys. Yes. Okay, human. You made it past the Sumatra's guards, and now you can attack the vessel itself. So listen closely. The Sumatra is protected by a thick shell of used asteroids, reinforced with a weak stasis field. You'll never okay. that. It only opens oh yeah, the it's back. It's covered with a powerful force screen. One touch of that screen, you're history, Captain. To destroy okay, the don't Sumatra, touch it. You'll have to destroy the shield generators embedded in the asteroid shell. You got it. Drop the force screen, you'll have to destroy all eight of them. When the screen is down, bring in your flagship, move into the asteroid shell, and then press the big red button on your controls. Big red button. The detonation sequence. Your escape pod will eject automatically. Just hope you're far enough away before that ship blows. Okay. Drop shields, big red button. Got battle. it. Your final moment of triumph. Don't screw up. In case you're wondering, I'm not going with you, Captain. I'm Man, Subes, Orpheus, you you I'm missed the, the Jaffa Wub last time. Stuff got weird. They were wanting to plant eggs in my brain organ. Uh... Uh, what, what's, what is this? What are you shooting at me? Oh god! Just gonna keep flying in circles. This is definitely what we need to be doing. Right? I think I'm doing this right. No! No! Damn it. The blue under is the shield that if I come in contact with it, I think it just, like, erase, like, I just get erased. Like, I'm trying to drop that shield by attacking the, uh, 
the red orbs, I think is the goal here. Loser, fool, worm, loser, jerk, dummy. Loser, jerk, moron, fool. I just have to insult them to charge back up in between in between worm, runs. I just have to insult them in between to, to regain my energy. Moron, dodo, wimp, dodo, jerk, I'm, I'm on this. I'm, I'm so pro. Dodo, this might take a while. Oh, God. Okay. This is going to take a while, I, it feels. I feel like this is going to take a little while. Oh! I wish I was more accurate. Okay, I've dropped another one. That's good. No, don't shoot me. Damn it. Aha! Damn it. It's completely missed. Follow me! Okay. <laughs> I'm just missing now. This guy is like the polar opposite voice to you. <laughs> Are you talking about me? What are you talking about? Kaz has a beautiful voice. It's the voice of an angel. Ah, I got another one. Only three left. Only three left. We're getting somewhere. Going places. That's true. That's why I never have any viewers. Um, that's why they build up as the night goes. People log in and they watch and then I just put them to sleep. And then uh, I just have a group of people sleeping that are quote unquote watching me by the end. I always start out with like two viewers and by the end I'm at like eight or ten. Uh, none of them are watching. There's only ever like two people watching at a time. The rest of them are just people that are sleeping. That fell asleep watching me because of my voice. Kaz is a badly dubbed anime voice. That's not true. Kaz has the voice of an angel. No! I got stuck on the edge. Is it random whether they revive? It is, isn't it? Alright, just gotta get this last one. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ah! Oh, we blew it up. It's random for the revive. Okay. No! I want to fly in there and shoot it. I don't. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do now. The orbs and fireballs. That's gonna be. It's gonna be difficult. He's doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, flagship. And I gotta do. I gotta do the big red button. But I have. I have to get rid of all defenses. I, I guess. We're getting there. Oh, we're close. There's only. Oh, I'm getting a lot of random revives. Okay, I have to get the fireball. The ship is really fast. It's really nice. Where's the fireball? Why are there more? What? No! Damn it. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of random revives. I'm getting really lucky with these. Alright. Shit. Alright. Where are they? Um. There they are. Alright. Gonna be real careful. Fool. Twit. Moron. Worm. 
No! Uh, should I try one of these? I'm gonna try one of these. I don't know what they do. Alright, never mind. The hat just <laughs> exploded immediately. Which I guess is kind of what these guys do as well. Alright, 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 alright. Damn it! They're so impossible to control. I, God, I didn't even get one. I activated the shield too early. Alright. I can... Oh! God. Okay, let's, I, I'm gonna try this again. I'm assumed I'm just fucking up. Because it catches up to me. Okay, it's split into another one. That's not good. Oh, I'm so bad! Guys, I'm just bad. I'm so bad. I'm horrible. I'm I'm going to lose this because I can't destroy these fireballs. Moron, idiot, wimp, dodo, moron, twit, jerk, stupid, twit. Got one. Whoop. Dodo, idiot, loser, baby. Is it still following me? Where are the fireballs? No. I'm yeah, like I know I have to destroy all the all the defenses. I do know that. I'm just really bad at piloting these ships. Like I've done everything with my flagship so far. Well, with the flagship, I just need to fly it in there, right? Alright, alright, alright. Oh, I got it. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just a little too far away from it. No! Fuck. I'm getting really lucky with you, right? I think you can go even with the fireballs still around. Okay, good. Because I'm probably going to lose my last ship to the fireballs and just have to go for it. Yeah, there's a risk. <gasps> I did it! I've done it. I'm amazing. Um, okay, now what do I do? Escape? Aha! Okay. Ram it! Just ram in there. Get in it. Derek Ironbutt, welcome. I don't know who you are, but your name is amazing. All right. Penetrated. Get out of there. Blow that shit up. I've done it! Great, thank you for the victory bits. What? There was an angel floating about. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well then. This is the right way to be dead. I agree. What? I've been unconscious for three weeks. We got Alien Coochie last time. You can go back and watch the VODs. Okay, we did it.
Alana. Something I'd like to see, eh? You don't say. Are we dropping the slave shield around Earth? For the past few days, Shamir had been working on lowering the shield. Yeah. Yeah. Now. We freed Earth! The true colors of Earth. For the first time, we've done it. We freed the galaxy. Honestly, everybody who's here, this is one of the greatest games of all time, and you should go play it. You can have you can download it for free. -da -da. Well, this went spectacularly. Um <laughs> Kaz, thank you for the bits. Victory bits! Me and Grandma? Who's Grandma? Wait, what? Talking to my grandchildren right now. Sidetracked, you say? We, we took... We, we married Blue Space Lady. The Mark II? What? Watch the I'll, oh I'll watch the credits. Don't you worry. Definitely watching the credits. Also, everybody who's here right now, once this is over, we're gonna take a short break and then we're gonna start uh, Canarium. And I'm gonna get super scared and and cry. So, Star Control Three. The inevitable triumph of good and evil, of good over evil. Derek Ironbutt, thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Stark and Throw 3 is not good. <laughs> Alright. Probably thought I was dead, didn't you? I, I had no idea. Wait. Oh no. That's what the sequel's gonna be about? You don't say. Frog is alive. Frog adventures. Gratuitous alien sex scenes. Hell yeah, I'm there for it. Let's do it. Give me that sequel. I want to know all about the ores. I want to decode their entire language and understand what they've been saying this whole time. Yeah, the lemon birds. Lemon birds are weird, man. Oh, well, it's super sad aliens in their perpetual fart clouds. They were super sad, like, the whole time that I brought their Ultron to them, and that made them slightly less sad. Yes. Yes, he does, Soups. Yes, he does. Mushroom type alien. Oh, they broke it again. You fools!
Rhino Cigar Man, super angry, of course. That's true. And get blown up by me, like a lot. I blow up a lot of your people. Dude, the Gangster Rhino looks badass, but uh, I completely wrecked them a lot. They're, they are, they look way more badass than they are. Weird praying mantis plant aliens. Yeah, plant mantises, man, manti. Oh yeah, I get you the amber. The dog? Dude, chill now. Oh, she's doing fine. That's good. Oh, that is great. Yeah, don't eat the dog. It's insane. Go get that steak instead. It's definitely your big chance. The new costume. <laughs> yeah, this one's gonna be really revealing. Not like not like this this prudish costume. Yeah, the first one is my cat, Waffles. Yeah, it's Rocket Rec Rocket Cat Coon. That's what we got here. He's so mean. He's very angry. Good. Microphone, please. Discount Rocket Raccoon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're working real hard. Oh, you... You poor, sweet pekunk. Sorry I let you die. But I did. I let down the birdmen. The birdmen were amazing. I let them down. It's true. One nine hundred pekunkra. What happens if you dial that number? Everyone dial that number. Yeah, they gave, they did give me eight ships at the end. Well, I thought I was boned. Sweet Birdman. Uh, space pterodactyls. They're writing screenplay. Woody Island Angst Fest mixed with some... What? Uh... Yep. The Welsh Space Pterodactyls. These guys. These guys were jerks. I didn't like them. What's happening right now? Oh god. So many alerts are happening. Yeah. Not a good time. There yeah, it's it's a BDS intro. Blah blah blah. Uh Tentacle Spider, that's right. Bad guys.
Tell me, tell me what you think. Small brown thing. <laughs> they died as a musical. I'm I'm down for Star Control the musical. Let's make that happen. I want more wisdom from Space Frogger. Oh yeah. Kaz, apparent the Witcher trailer, the the new Witcher trailer launched. Are you super excited? Kaz, tell me about it. Also, welcome, Kaz. Where you been, man? I'm gonna have to watch it. <laughs> New Witcher. Oh God, Mini Moko is so mad. I do want to know what happened at Roswell in the 1940s. Will you tell me? <laughs> the Men in Black. That was creepy. Super creepy vibe to end it on. Excellent. Excellent. End with the creeps. Yeah, guys, we, we just finished Star Control. Uh, we're going to take a break, and then we are going to play Canarium. Uh, so you can watch me get super scared and cry. <laughs> that was fantastic. That's one of the best games I've ever played. It's, it's just criminal that this flies so under the radar. It's so good. All the alien races were so full of, uh, so full of character. It was hilarious. It was fun. There was a mystery to it. There's all kinds of things to find out, and I haven't I haven't gone through all the dialogue and found out everything yet. And apparently, there's a bad ending as well that I need to see. We'll have to do that on stream at some point. Apparently, the new Witcher trailer looks awesome. So says my chat. I'll have to check that out. And. Bad things just Coral kill everyone. I knew that, but like, I'm sure there's like dialogue in there and stuff like that, right? There are things to see in the bad ending, I'm, I'm sure. You bought The Witcher 3 today? Cool. I have The Witcher 3. I've never, I haven't finished it though. I've only, I've played it a couple times. Like, I've started it. I'm like, this is awesome, and then I never finished it. Not too much, but there's some. Okay. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to see it. I do want to see it. Um, uh, maybe maybe later we'll do like a uh, unleash the chat for spoilers. Let's see everything that we didn't see type thing. You're terrible with big RPGs like The Witcher. But why? The end. We have finished Star Control 2, the Urquan Masters. Only like you know, 37 years after its release. 27 years after its release. Numbers, math, whatever. Um, that was fantastic. Uh, we're going to take a break, though. And then we're going to come back and we're going to play some Canary. <laughs> 